despite several available treatment options, current cholesterol medication doesn't always work, and it's a gamble that could lead to some serious risk in the future. A local doctor is looking for participants in a new clinical study that could help find a solution. Sonica Donge has the story. Listen to your heart and lungs. Tilda Mamby is in for a checkup this morning. As a former smoker, she's battling four risk factors for heart disease, including a previous heart surgery, diabetes, and high cholesterol. We'll listen to your heart here. Hilda is on 16 medications to prevent heart disease, including simvastatin, a statin's medication commonly prescribed to fight bad cholesterol, known as LDLC. Hilda is one of 78 Americans who suffer from high cholesterol, but 13 million Americans in the U.S. are on high cholesterol medication that doesn't lower their levels enough. That's why Dr. Horowitz is participating in a new clinical trial that targets cholesterol in a very different way. The current medication basically um, tricks your body into thinking that, um, or, or tricks the liver into thinking that it needs more cholesterol so that it sucks the bad cholesterol, the LDL cholesterol, out of our um, bloodstream and brings it back into the liver and the liver destroys it. This new medication um, works in a different way to accomplish the same thing. PCS K9 inhibitors increase the number of receptors on the liver instead of tricking the existing receptors to do more work. And unlike the currently popular statins medication, preliminary studies show these inhibitors do not have as many side effects, including liver damage and muscle spasms. We're hoping that this study will show that not only do they lower cholesterol, uh, but that they will reduce the risk of cardiovascular disease as well. PCSK9 inhibitors are not currently on the market, but may be available as early as the end of the year. And if you believe that your cholesterol medication is not managing LDLC levels properly, you may be eligible to take part in this clinical trial. It's called SPIRE. Just contact the Metabolic Research Center.